Not every invention's worth patenting. Now don't get me wrong, patents can produce powerful and valuable monopolies. But for many inventions, getting a patent is just a waste of time and money. I've been responsible for the filing of more than 10,000 patent applications over the last 30 years. And I've come up with a list of five questions that I think are really important to ask yourself before going after your own patent. I wanna talk about these five questions on this video. Hi, my name is John Farrell. I'm a Silicon Valley patent attorney. Welcome back to my channel. Now, I think the most important question you need to ask yourself before going after a patent of your own is, are you gonna make money on this patent? Are you gonna sell product that's gonna be protected by this patent? Or will you be licensing the patent? Do you have a licensee in mind or maybe lined up? Or are you gonna use this patent, attach this patent to a business and then sell the business along with the intellectual property or along with, the, with products covered by this patent? If you don't have any way of making money or commercially utilizing your patent, then there's probably no reason to own a patent. Patents can be really expensive wallpaper and should only be considered in connection with some kind of commercial activity. The second question I think it's important to really look in the mirror and ask yourself is, do you have the money to see a patent application all the way through? Even for a simple invention, a patent application from start to finish is likely to cost more than $20,000 spread over a period of some two to three years. If you don't have the funds to see the patent application all the way through to the end, then it's probably not worth starting the application because you really don't want to go through the trouble of writing and submitting the application and prosecuting the application only to get to the end but not have the money to pay for the printing fees in the patent office. So question number two that you should ask yourself is do you have the funds to see the application all the way through to the end? And question number three is, do you have at least $5 million worth of foreseeable sales in your patented product in the future? Now, the reason I suggest this $5 million threshold is that if you have to litigate your patent, if you have to sue someone to stop infringement of your product, then you're probably looking at some expense somewhere between a half a million dollars and two million dollars or more if you have to see your litigation process all the way through trial. So if you don't have the sales to support enforcement of your patent, then there's probably no reason to get a patent in the first place. So question number three is, do you have at least five million dollars in foreseeable product sales, in, a, in the product being covered by your patent. The fourth question, the next question that you should ask yourself is, what will you do if someone infringes your patent? Are you willing to license them? Are you willing to sell them a license to your patent? And are you willing to license them at a reasonable enough royalty that they're unlikely to want to fight you in court over the, the validity or the infringement of your patent? And if you arrive at the decision that you just don't want to fight over your patent, that you're not going to enforce your patent, and that you're not going to go through the hassle of fighting in court over the use of your patented technology, then it's probably not worthwhile spending the money on a patent. And the fifth question is, would it be possible for you to keep your technology as a trade secret? That is, not teach the public about your technology, but rather keep that technology as your own. Use it in your business. Keep it on the down low. You make money from the technology, the knowledge that you have, but not disclosing it to others so that you don't have to worry about filing and enforcing patents and worry about what other people are doing with your technology. Now, not all inventions are capable of being protected as trade secrets. So you have to really ask yourself the question if you're gonna go this route, am I really gonna be able to keep this a secret? Are my employees or people that I work with, my vendors or my customers gonna be able to tell what I'm really doing with this technology? Is a trade secret really possible? And honestly, it's very rare that technology cannot be discovered by a competitor who really wants to find out about it. Okay, that's it for my five questions. If you like this video, I think you're gonna like this next one as well. I'll see you over there.